Yet comrades, TF Com here, and yes, the hair is cut. It's a bad lighting, but I'll try to put a better picture on Twitter for you guys. There will also, of course, be other days when the lighting will be better. No. Today was the first day of me back at class. Um, so I had class as well as work today. And I think I've been spoiled a little bit from the summer break, you know, because I am beyond exhausted. I didn't get to eat today because I went from class straight to work. Like, I got, like, ten minutes to run to work. Got some coffee, but it didn't help. Um, still, it was almost late to work with that coffee. Um, so, basically... Exhausted as all can all can be. Um my head's killing me, whatever. Exhausted, starving, fun. <laughs> but um it wasn't too hard of a day. I found out I do need to buy some textbooks for my class. I really wish they told us that before class started. Uh and we have an assignment next week, so at least we have some time to get the book, which is great. Uh, I'm not sure if the book will even be here in a week, but you know, it's better than saying, oh, you have homework next class. That I hate when they do that, because it's like there's no possible way for us to get it, you know? So that sucks. But I do have time, so that works. Um, I had two classes today. I think I already mentioned that. I don't even know anymore. So yeah, it wasn't really that hard of a schedule. I had two classes... Um, each were about three hours long, um, and then I had, then I worked for, about five hours, six hours, so it really wasn't that bad, it's only a 12 hour day, but I don't know why I'm so tired, I guess because I really didn't get a break in between any of them, those classes were back to back and then instant work, so basically I haven't had anything to eat or sit down or anything since about 1 o'clock, maybe before then, no, it's about noon, yeah, um, so, but it's a long day, I'm going to figure out how to plan these things better so that I can get food, maybe, um, I don't want to plan to always leave class early, of course, but, I guess I'll have to work it out each week, depending on when I work, um, you know. Tomorrow I don't work until 8 o'clock at night, so it's an insanely short, short, <laughs> shift, <laughs> short shift, um, and I think, I think I only have two classes tomorrow, but I think I have a big break in between them, about an hour break. I don't have my schedule in front of me because my schedule's on my phone and I can't do that when I'm recording. <laughs> but you know, um, I remember one of you saw me at class, uh, before, or in the parking lot. I look forward to that, um, back to school, maybe I'll see you again, maybe I'll actually get to meet you instead of just being, just hearing that you were there, um, <laughs> which will be fun. Sorry, my throat's killing me because, like, again, I haven't eaten or even drank anything all day, so very dehydrated. Um, basically, it was an okay first day class. Um, my first teacher, I'm a little iffy about, uh, he did say on the email that he would call me Elijah. And I would check, he's like, just make sure you remind me a lot because I'm going to forget. And I'm just like, that's a little. Okay, I mean, maybe that's just what happens. Maybe he's never been around a transgender person because I'm saying, by this point, I don't hear that very often. You know, because everyone knows that's what I'm, everyone knows that I know it's going to take a while. And it's really not going to take a while, being that he's never met me before, so he doesn't have to, like, unlearn my old name. Plus the fact that 
I mean, there's maybe 40 kids in this class, and he only teaches one class. Uh, that's a lot of kids, yes. Kids. I still call us kids. Young adults, I guess. Um, there's only 40 people, and... In a lot of classes, there's like 200. So... 40 people, it's not a big deal. And a lot of those people are probably gonna drop out. Um, you know, we're gonna lose at least... I think he lose 5, 10 people. Within the first few weeks. So that works, but... I don't know, I find it kind of interesting that, um, he said that, well, another student, uh, female, um, he asked her what her name was, because we were doing this little, because he called on her and says, and yeah, and what is your name? And she says, I go by G. And he's like, okay, cool. And he remembered that. He got called on her G and everything else, and I'm just like, okay, but my name's gonna be hard. Maybe yeah, because it's more syllables. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was a bad, that was a bad grammar joke. Um, but, it'll be interesting. He's also an Episcopal priest. I think I pronounced that correctly. Came in in his full clergy guard and everything. You know, the white thing around the neck is the clergy guard. And they had the robes and all that. And I'm just like, well, shite. Um, <laughs> I feel like he's going to be one of those people that says, oh yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And he's going to cause a buttload of shit for this because I mean he's literally a clergyman you know I do you can't get really any more closeted than that and I mean that is a stereotype yes there are there are some clergymen who are fine with the LGBT community there are some with fine with the LG community not the BRT there's some fine with the LG people and not the T it's very rare to find one that's okay with the T, but I don't know. I maybe I'm judging him too harshly before I get to meet him, really. But it's kind of uh, he seemed really cool in that when I met him. He was all dancing around the room, and he's. I don't think he's fit to be a teacher, in all honesty, and not because of the clergyman thing that that does annoy me, but um. Insanely forgetful. He wouldn't. He can't remember what he's doing. He'll stop in the middle of a conversation, just be like, "Where was I?" Or uh, just stop and be like, "Oh, it's over there." And it's like, I'm pretty sure he has ADD. And by his age, you should probably be treated for that. You know, like I'm trying to be treated for it, and he's. I think he said he was 27. Kind of get treated by that point, you know. by this point, like, I feel like he should be tested, at least, um, because if it's not scatter, like, if it's not, um, ADD or ADHD or something like that, then it could be something way worse, uh, like an actual physical disability, and I don't mean, like, physical disabilities are bad, I mean, like, mental disabilities, a lot of them can be not cured, but they can be treated with medications, and therapies and things like that, whereas physical ones are a lot harder usually to treat uh, without like insanely expensive surgeries and stuff. So it's not even not that they're harder; it's, they're more expensive to treat. That's that's what I was going to get around to. Because yeah, I am in the psychology field. I realize that mental illness is no joke. It's insanely difficult to deal with. I know that personally. Um, I know how bad my episodes get when I'm stressed, so I try to distract myself. I was starting to feel a few coming on uh, yesterday, and my lovely, lovely boyfriend was a very good distraction for that. And I don't know if he knows how much he helps me, because I don't even really tell him usually that I'm having an issue. What the fuck? Sorry. Um, I don't even usually tell him I'm having an issue. I just, you know, like, hey, you up? Hi. You know, I just message him like, hey, you know, nice to see you today. Send you a meme, something else like that. And it's like, I don't think 
he realizes that I mean yeah of course I message him when I really want to talk to him and stuff obviously too and just daily and everything like a normal relationship but I don't think he realizes that a lot of the time um, I'm having a really bad panic attack or a schizo attack or something along those lines and I need a distraction I need a comfort I need something like that and I do I didn't want to worry him is why I never say anything what because I feel like he he's the type of person who's very anxious himself and I feel like he would think he's not much of a help so he could put himself down more and he actually it's very helpful I <laughs> one of these days one of these days I'll get him to be fully out of the closet so we can have a nice little video here which should be great uh, you guys will get to meet him and everything else. Maybe one day, maybe not. He's just not really out to his family yet, is all the really issue is there. But you know, it happens, it happens. Um, I'm patient with that. But I am home now. So, let's see if I can get something to eat. Uh, <laughs> you know that goes, obviously. So, ah, light! TFCOM, signing off. Bye.